que <laughs> you saw that it glue for a second oh hi in this video we are going to find out if it is a good idea to use blender motors as electric generators and these are rated at 220 to 240 volts dc now guys i'm really happy to announce that the winner for the previous contest was anuj francis from kerala india and he has won this motor 12 volts 5 amperes pretty good huh let's see what project you make from this one so without any further delay let's get started so guys here i'm going to start the first test which is the voltage test meter has been pointed to dc mode the wiring has completed and uh, now it's time to turn the shaft with my fingers and let's see how much voltage i'm getting how much is it you see 26 volts with hand rotation 32 this time holding it safely just in case <laughs> that was so good 50 volts dc is really good we can charge like 4 12 volts battery at the same time now guys this one that you see the green greenish one is a 12 volts high speed motor and i'm planning on using this one to run this uh, blender motor at high speed and see how much voltage it is going to generate now. Yeah. So you see, both of them have been connected and they are pretty stable. So first, let's connect it and see if this motor can at least free run this motor from blender. The blender motor is more powerful, okay. Oh! Ah, there is a lot of vibration. Stay away from the wires. Ah! Yeah. Once it has attained full speed, uh, it is going to stabilize and the vibration is going to minimize. Okay. Okay, oh. once again, oh. Oh. let's see the voltage, oh. it is 133 volts DC, so cool right, let's power up the driving motor and see how many amps I can get. <laughs> Actually, uh, this time it is going to run very slow since it's under short circuit. This multimeter short circuits the output and then shows the current being generated. Let's see. <laughs> that is great. Such a high voltage motor and still it is generating as high as 0 0.5 amperes. That is very good because the voltage is also high so considering that it's good this what you see is the laptop charger so initially i was running this green motor the driving motor with the laptop charger but now i'm going to force it to run at uh, 35 volts laptop charger output is 20 volts and now i'm going to force it to 35 volts with the printer power supply uh. Ah. How much voltage did we achieve? Oh, it is very scary. Oh, 226 volts DC. Very, 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 very good. We have seen the voltage. Let's move on to the final load testing. Ah. So guys, here as you can see that I have this, uh, how many watts, 18 watts LED bulb, 220 volts. And this I'm going to run with this motor. 
let's connect the output wires okay let's keep the wires this side otherwise you people will say that i have connected home socket supply even if it closed ah, now the wires are not visible okay just trust me please okay <laughs> you saw that it glue for a second oh i think the motor shorted or something once again <laughs> it is still running <laughs> yeah you see the bulb is actually glowing now few of you will say this is producing dc output but this bulb glows on ac this is a fake video and uh, this bulb cannot glow on dc now i am going to tell them that uh, these bulbs have smps supply that actually runs the leds inside first that smps supply converts the home socket ac to dc and then feeds it to the led lights and that is why it can still run on dc so guys now that all the lights are turned off let's give it a try once more and see how it illuminates the room yeah it is even difficult to see the terminals now okay uh. oh. <laughs> you see it is so bright oh wow <laughs> pretty good right <laughs> uh. Where is the terminal? Are where are you? Oh, come on, where are you? Yeah, got it. Oh! So, guys, now I'm going to run this uh, 100 watts bulb this time instead of the 18 watts. Let's see if it can uh, power this one up since it's 120 watts generator at max. So, let's see how much it can do. So guys lights are off now. Okay. Go. Ah. Yeah. 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 What the fish? Why is it not running? Now guys, I have changed the power supply to laptop charger once again because that power supply has died and this motor got seriously damaged. And uh, although I have uh, more pieces of these, so I don't have that big a problem. Holding it like this, and go. <laughs> you see that it is glowing so bright. Now this motor is under maximum power output, so I will say that this is a really, really good generator. Although this uh, driving motor is heating up a lot, I think I should stop it now. as you have already seen it it works really well okay turning it off ah so guys now that we are done with the project i'm really happy to share with you the changes that i have decided for the upcoming contest note that there is no hidden question in this video and uh, the hidden questions are going to come up from my next video so guys the first change as you already know is that you have to correctly answer the hidden question for only two consecutive videos and be the first one to do it and then you are going to be the winner for the contest the second one is the great news uh, no longer shipping fees is going to be applied to my indian winners since shipping in india is not that expensive and now as for the winners outside india shipping is obviously going to be higher so shipping for them stays but not to worry I have added an option that if they don't want to have the motor price cause uh, the shipping is considerably higher I will give them the opportunity to make a project request yeah 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 but note that the requested project should be related to my channel example motors generators inverters solar panels and uh, yeah bug boost converter modules so with that being said See you in the next one. Hit like, share, and subscribe, and uh, get ready for the contest. Let's see who wins this time. Bye bye.